What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video we're talking about Batman and Robin issue number 12. This one is written by Joshua Williamson with art and colors by Juan Ferreira. So this one takes place right after the previous issue and I actually quite liked the last issue a lot. It felt we kind of got a little bit of knit and grit back like you actually felt more emotional stakes with the story and this is a pretty solid issue as well. I think Williamson has one more left and then he's off the title uh, but it does leave on a rather <laughs> Uh, uh, unintentionally kind of funny, but also kind of like what the hell kind of cliffhanger ending, but we'll talk about that in a second. So this issue, at the end of the previous one, Damien's PTSD was reactivated uh, when he saw Bane, because as you know, he was the one there when Alfred's final moments were at, and that really psychologically affected him. Uh, this issue does a good job kind of flashing back and forth between different times in Damien's life when he was, you know, interacting with Alfred. We see a little bit before the city of Bane, and we also see a little bit when he was, like, during the Teen Titans rebirth phase, how they weren't really his friends and all that, so we get to see a more immature Damien and kind of rage-fueled and whatnot, and we also see times during Batman R.I.P. when Bruce was supposedly gone, and then we also saw kind of flashbacks to, like, the very kind of beginning of Damien and Alfred's uh, time together, so, uh, and we also, like, the stuff with the Cobra Cult and all that, just kind of more so in the background, basically vengeance and bane were working on a new serum of venom that's basically just one dosage and you're pretty much good and they were testing it with the dinosaurs but there were some really nasty side effects think norman osborne in the green goblin in the first spider-man movie where you take it and you just basically go kind of insane so that's kind of something they were dealing with that's why they're on the island and maya was investigating that and you know vengeance was fighting bruce and all that and uh so damien like again is facing off against bane he's riding a dinosaur to attack him and it's a pretty good fight there's actually a lot of action sprinkled in throughout this issue and of course it comes down to like Damien is he going to kill Bane or is he not and he's so very close to it and given that Williamson has kind of pushed Damien in a different direction a more kind of positive heroic thing I didn't really feel that Damien would kind of cross the line but sometimes things can surprise me but ultimately um he's kind of flashing back to his times with Alfred and Bane talks about how they are kind of similar in some ways and a lot but Damien basically decides to grant him mercy the mercy that he did not show Alfred and you feel the real kind of emotions and pain with him the artwork does do a good job showcasing that and he talks about how maybe in the past they were alike in some similar ways but at least he had somebody there to kind of look out for him and somebody to help guide him along to like a better path and he talks about how he had that in his life and you took that from me um, I'm going to drag you back to Gotham. You're going to be brought to justice, uh, an eternity locked in a cell, and that's going to be that. So it was a good moment. This is a thing that definitely needed to happen. I also appreciate how we did kind of mention that Damien did have his Titan semen. I'm kind of bummed Williamson never really got the chance to kind of have closure with that storyline. I hope Philip Kennedy Johnson will. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings to it. But that's one thing really kind of left that I feel like needs to be addressed is him confronting his former titan scene i know he's kind of had some interactions with some of the characters but there really needs to be a story arc where it's him and his old team and getting some sort of closure there maya's back uh there's a few other characters I'd like to see him interact with but this was a big storyline that really needed you know some closure here and, and i'm kind of bummed that there wasn't a little bit more lead up to it and it's, it's don't get me wrong this is some good stuff but i would have liked bane kind of like a little bit maybe like another issue or two of this stuff because it's like we only have like three issues left of the story arc I'm like dang no it's actually pretty good so bruce is proud of him for what he did and they were like maya and bruce are like don't kill him and he's like but bruce saw the whole thing he's like i'm proud of you son he's like let's go home father but then a big crazy cliffhanger happens where vengeance shoots one of those venom things at damien and the end of the issue is uh, Damien now injected with all sorts of venom and looking Jack steroid up as hell and he is ready to kind of take his rage out on Bane so I, I guess they're all going to have to kind of team up to uh, stop this because Damien was like I'm not going to cross the line but then here comes Vengeance shooting him with one of those like venom arrows and now he's like an enormous rage monster like he, almost like the Hulk and he's like like lust for blood and whatnot is brought to the forefront so i'm kind of surprised that this is the direction they're going with in this thing um but i am kind of interested to see and you know what i'm excited to see what williamson has to do with like his final issue on this run 
I really like the Juan Ferreira artwork. I kind of wish Juan was there from the start because this is the best art in the run so far. And it is an interesting cliffhanger too with, you know, Venom fuel Damien. We did get the emotional bit where he used his own agency to decide just, like not to kill Bane because like I said, that's not really what Alfred would have wanted. And it's, it's a nice impactful scene right there. So this is one of the stronger issues in it. It does feel like it goes by rather quickly, but and I, I would have liked a little bit more lead up to the stuff with Bane because I mean, it's been a few years since the whole Alfred death thing. And I mean, it's still really, it's still good stuff. I just kind of wish we got more of it like within this uh, time with Williamson's time on the book. So, but we have one more issue left of Batman and Robin under Williamson and I'm excited, but I'm also kind of sad to see him go because, I mean, for those who've been following the channel, you know I was covering the Teen Titans Rebirth run, and you know how much of a low point uh, it was if you were a fan of Damien uh, experiencing that and just to see how his character had fallen so much. And it just felt like not just him, but all, all, all the other members of the Teen Titans group uh, that were with him. It just was so mean-spirited, angsty, and all that, and it just kind of was hard to watch. So, like, just every week, I was just like, what are we even doing here? Like, this just does not work. Um, but now that we're at this point, the character's in a better direction, and plus, Philip Kennedy Johnson is going to be taking over, and I think there's some good stuff in there for sure. So, yep, this is a really solid issue, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this arc wraps itself up and, you know, how Williamson ends his run of the character. So, what did you think of Batman and Robin issue 12? Post your comments down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit that bell for notifications, all that fun stuff, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.